you ever seen a, a cow in a in a um, a wetsuit? Let's scroll up. Another oh scroll. My God, look at that. Oh, oh, there's oh. another. Watch it. You're about to kill it. Yep. What's this guy doing? Oh my gosh, he's trying to locate the water line. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at him witching. What's, that guy needs help. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he needs help. Let's get out. <laughs> oh my. Trying to find. Here to help. Any <laughs> issues? Oh, you're trying to find the water line? Yes, I am. It's witching. Oh. And just ain't hacking it. You have a map for this, sir? Yeah, I have. I have something that Bob gave me last night at the bar. Let me show it to you. <laughs> He says he knew right where this water line was, but I don't believe it. Here it is. Drew it on his bar napkin. <laughs> what do you think? Water. It's missing some offsets. Well, he spelled water right. He, yeah. He helped install it, so he's supposed to know where it's at. This with the who drew this up? Your uh, your daughter or uh, well, your grandchild? Actually, it was the secretary. <laughs> well, it's kind of blue. Okay, yeah. so well, I mean, the, and then you through, got the right? stuff from the engineers. Yep. Yeah. So. Well, we got a digital map that we'd like to show you. It's called subsurface maps. Make it a lot easier. Make it a, everything a lot easier, and so everything is saved on a cloud-based system, and uh, you can zoom in and zoom out and uh, see everything on a tablet or a computer. You like that using computers? That would be a lot easier than this stuff. All right, I got my laptop here, and uh, we're going to go to subsurface maps.com if you simply go to this cloud-based system subsurface maps.com it allows you to draw in stuff so if you have some kind of maps or something that bob gave you at the bar you can start to get it up on the cloud-based system like this then anybody can get on here and view it so you think it's on this side of the road yes right over here how many feet off the curb here uh probably eight feet nine foot i'm guessing okay i'm going to just go up to this draw tool right up in the top left hand corner select water mains and I'm going to go ahead and draw it in where I think it is. And hopefully I got this about six, seven, eight feet off the road. And then hit stop done. And we'll go ahead and give it a diameter. You think it's a four inch pipe or? I think it's probably a six inch. We'll put in six inch and then we'll put in, what is it, cast iron? PVC. PVC, all right. We'll put in PVC for the type and it, now it's on the map. And it's gonna stay there until somebody updates the center line or moves it. And so that's, I can check the distance I got this off the road by just using the measuring tool here. And I'll just go from the curb over to it. I got it about 11 feet right now. So we can go ahead and move that if we want and get it a little bit, about a foot closer by just clicking on it. Going down to my action items and adjusting points. And so now I can just move it over about a couple feet and I can use the measuring tool to to get this just spot on but the whole idea is to just get started somewhere and uh, you know as long as you got some maps to go off of you can sit in a desk at a desktop in the office and nice air conditioning and, and uh, work on this and, and kind of get them where you want them and you got service lines coming off this too you got hydrants you know we've got a hydrant right here by the pole so i'm going to go in here again to my draw tool i'm going to go to hydrants and I'm going to drop one right where I can see it on the map. So here's the pole, it's right in front, and I'm just going to put one right there, hydrant. And if you got a hydrant number, you can go ahead and put it in there as well. And we'll just put this hydrant one for right now. You can put in the manufacturer, line size. These fields are completely customizable. And so you can add or subtract whatever you want to collect when you're out there in the field. And I'm just going to hit add, and now the hydrant is on the map right there, hydrant number one. And we'll go ahead and We'll see how accurate we are. We have a locator. There's a free app you can download subsur uh, for subsurface maps offline. It's an app that correlates with the same map, brings up all the same information, but it talks to the locator. Okay, we got a survey pole here. You can actually walk around and uh, collect your points using the GPS on top. We got the Juniper geode here. It actually gets down to six inch accuracy normally, but this also has in-trip a place where you can log in local base stations and get even more accurate you know get down to three or four inch accuracy uh, but if you're just going to go around and collect the hydrants and kind of walk over where you think the line is you can easily communicate back to the tablet and do the same thing we did on the computer just logging it on here uh, is this something us old guys could use pretty easy yeah it because is. it's just as easy as using the the laptop or the computer just go All to right. subsurface solutions dot or subsurface maps dot com yeah and log in and start okay. collecting well, you can take this geode off and put it right on the locator and let's locate this thing out 
and save the point, say where the water line is, let's see where we located at with the radio detection RD8200. Fits right there. You can see the lights are on. It's Bluetooth over to the phone, which is running the same app. Uh, and we're going to give this to Brent and you want to find that water line and let's see where we end up. So the app will uh, talk to the locator and talk to the GPS simultaneously. And where'd you go? <laughs> so the app will talk to the locator and to the GPS simultaneously. And as he's collecting, it uploads the depth, it uploads the location, and it looks like he's right off the curb right now. And just that simple button push on the locator is storing all that same information. We'll see how close we are here to where you think the water line was. I don't like, I don't think it's seven or eight or nine foot off the curb. It don't look like it. So this is putting a magnetic field onto the line that he's picking up with the locator there and he's able to uh, triangulate using antennas inside there, showing him exactly where it's at. Locating out just fine? Yeah, I'd say so. Good. good. Got a good hookup. So after he gets done here, you'll see when he gets to the hydrant, he's able to shift over and add that hydrant in. You can add different assets. You can put your curb stops in, you can put in your meters and any numbers or anything, I can add that in there, but I am gonna do one extra uh, piece of information, which is cool is that we could just take a picture and it's gonna be tied to it. We can I'll get it out of the picture. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants that, right? But this stores pictures and videos, so you can upload I'm gonna it. put number, even though it's not a number, looks like we got J on there. Attachments, take a picture, and we're done. Done. Nice. Add. So now he's just gonna sync it up and uh, upload everything that he just collected to the map that's saved in the cloud up there somewhere. So it's actually an wow. Amazon web server. So it's a very fast that, system. That's all part of the program? That... All part of the program. You can pay um, basically 360 bucks is where it starts off. And so $360 for one user, if it's just you that's gonna use it. But yeah, is that for a year? For, for a, a year, for one a year. year. Yeah, okay. very. $30 Very inexpensive. It saves you a lot of time if you're out here probing for the line or witching it. I mean, for damage prevention, it's perfect. I mean, you get everything more accurate and eventually, if you wanted to, you can go ahead and locate this whole neighborhood out and, or just do it as you're doing one call tickets. You got it synced up? It's all synced up. All right. Here's the laptop. Shows everything that Brent just located. As you can see here, there's where the, we had drawn in the a line. different. Yeah. Yeah, a lot different. And now the line's right in here next to the curb, goes across the driveway, closer to the curb, and you can see everything uh, that he saved. So the locator uploaded the depth reading here, and 45 inches deep, and down here has the frequency he was using, along with the lat and the long and everything. So if you had to come back and relocate it, you'd be able to do that. You know, you can actually see where the line is. And That'd be better than witching. Yep. A picture up there too? Picture, let's see the hydrant. You got the hydrant saved in here. Hydrant number two, and uh, make this a little wider. And there's the attachment for the picture, and open that up. There's your hydrant. Yeah, that's nice because just think if you took a picture of each one, you can look back and see the manufacturer. You know if you need to work on any of them. You know which uh, parts to be able to get. Flush dates. Keep track of that. That's important. Sounds good. So. You can move these layers around. You can add more layers. If you actually are locating gas and other utilities as well, you can add that. If you have maps, any kind of digital maps that you want to upload onto the system, you can easily do that. Except shape files, Google Earth files. Yeah, a lot of time these engineers CSVs. that make these maps, they might actually have some shape files or something that you can load right up and you have a really good start. Yep, and then just keep adding and, and, and correcting as you as you. Yeah, locating. something that's really unique about it is you don't have to call anybody up. You can, I mean, we're here to help, but you can move these lines yourself. You just go out and make these new points and it's something that's in your hands. Sounds good. All right, well, if you have any how questions. About, yeah, yeah, how about, uh, so water lines, gas, how about power lines? Power, mapping power everything. lines. Yeah. Anything. Anything. Is, anything I mean, underground, huh? And above ground. And above and, ground. And above I mean, ground too. you could, yeah. if you got special trees that you need to map out for something, you can map out trees, whatever it might be. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. A lot of potential then. Yeah. Well, we can come in and do a more of a in, intense 
um, demo for you if you're interested. So we just yeah, thought we'd well, help you out here and kind of show you what. Let me talk do. to Bob. If I get him out, get him at the bar tonight. <laughs> oh, you know, I'll talk get, you get right him into drunk. It. You got and, a card? <laughs> yeah, I got a. I want to meet card. Bob. <laughs> yeah. He sounds like a yeah. good character. Nice. <laughs> Drinks will be on us, huh? Bob will really like you guys then. <laughs> Is it beer 30 yet? Yeah, close enough. All right. Well, thanks. It was nice meeting you. Yeah. yeah. Thank All you. Right. I'm Travis, you. by the way. I'm yeah. Brent. Brent. Yeah. All right. Take it easy. All right. We'll get yeah, out of here. Have a good day. Thanks yep, for stopping. Yep. Thank you.